Have you ever wished you captured that perfect golden hour glow in your photo? If so, I made this video just for you. Yeah, you bro. Today we're going to add light in Photoshop using the paintbrush of all things. And it's only gonna take us like a few minutes. Like this video if you'd like to see more like this one or if you found it useful. Comment something that you would like to learn in the comment section down below or maybe just tell me your favorite time of day to shoot. Mine is personally a blue hour. It's really cool, I love, I love shooting a blue hour. And subscribe for more photography related tutorials, self-help videos, as well as my podcast titled My Vibrant Life where we explore the world of creatives. You can click anywhere here to uh, check out the, the latest episode with my friend Logan Deddy. Okay, uh, with that said, let's hop into Photoshop. Okay, cool. So here is the image that I have of Christina Love, amazing model. Check her out. I'll have her links in the uh, thing down below. And let me show you the actual effect that I applied here. Boom, so there is that natural light. There is some shadow that we added around the edges here. I'm just gonna show you how I did that in just a matter of, honestly, a few seconds here if my computer actually keeps up with us. So I'm gonna just take this bad boy out of here and we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to go down here at the bottom panel and click this little guy right here, which is new layer. Boom, now we have this new layer. Let's just label it. Sun flare, nice, and then we're going to click B on your keyboard, or you can just click the little paintbrush right here, and we're going to go down to the swatch. Just one single click here. We can see that I have a blue color. That's not the color we want to use, obviously, so let's uh, change it to like a yellow. We're going to click and drag the hue slider thing right there, and once I find a nice yellow, I'll pull over our color to be more, more like that. I want it more of a bold, bold yellow since we're actually going to be, you know, adding it lightly in there and then probably messing around with the color later. But that's a great place to start. Actually, I lied. Let's bring it just a little more on the orange side. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now our settings. We're going to have our flow here at 1%. So just click on there and type 1% and then go over here to your brush size, click and bring the hardness down to zero, that is what she said, and then click the right bracket key just a little bit here to increase the brush size. To decrease the brush size, click the left bracket if you need to do so, and then let's just draw like a nice little kind of like circle right here and we'll see the effect start to happen very slowly. Boom, so now we have that nice kind of flare look. However, of course, it's in the middle of her face. That's not where we want the flare to be, but we're just getting it set so that we can actually kind of move it around and put it where we want in the photo. So let's go to our blend mode right here, click the button that says normal, and let's go down to screen and blend it on screen. Cool, so that's much more subtle, but it's definitely still there, right? I'm gonna add a little bit more just to, uh, just to be a little dramatic here and then we'll go to the next step. So just, like I said, once again, just drawing a nice little circle here with the color. Let's wait a second for my computer to catch up. All right, now we are good to keep going. Let's go up to this filter tab and then go down here to convert for smart filters. The reason that I'm doing this is because I like to make multiple adjustments to this layer. So it lets me kind of go back and readjust things that I've done on this smart filter. If it's not a smart filter, you just kind of have to kind of hope that you get things right. So the smart filter actually lets you edit Edit the adjustments that you're making when it comes to adding blur and um, other effects like that. Cool, so I got what I want here. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's just move around this layer. So I want it kind of more on the side of the image, right? I want like the light leak coming in from this right side of the photo. Let's grab hold and change the actual size and position of our light flare. Hold the shift key and then drag from this bottom left Cool, that's looking kind of how I want it, except I even want it to be a little more extreme. So let's click Command J to duplicate that layer. And now we have that really kind of extreme look going on here. I'm going to click on Sun Flare Copy and hold Shift, select Sun Flare, and I'm going to just merge layers here. Boom, convert to smart layer once again by right click, find convert to smart object. That's what I meant to say. 
Awesome, go back to normal and then screen blend. Perfect, and then let's go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's just blur it at let's say like 85, just to see what happens here. Click OK. Nice, I love that. I'm going to even click, hold command, and drag this layer up to the right just a little bit. Heck yeah, that's exactly where, where I want it to be. And then let's go to our adjustments panel, click on hue and saturation, go back to layers, make sure your hue and saturation layer is right above your sun flare layer here, and then right click, and then create clipping mask. Awesome, cool, and now we can mess around with the color of this yellow if we don't like it. So you can just drag it all over the place and it will turn different colors. Pretty cool. I think I want to keep mine basically the same, but I might bring my saturation down just a little bit here, just to make it a little less harsh. It's like 17, perfect. Cool, so now we basically have our sun flare all done. We can adjust it however much we want to because we have that awesome smart filter on here. And now let's make a layer below here. Click new layer yet again. It's just gonna be this blank canvas and then let's call it vignette. V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E, -E -T -T -E, I think, right? It's like spaghetti, vignette. -y. And then let's go back to our swatches here. Click that gray and then bring it down to black. Okay, and what we're going to do is actually contrast the light that we added just to kind of shape um, and add some drama to the entire photo here. So click B yet again, our brush tool. I'm going to click the left bracket just a little bit to decrease the size. And I'm going to paint just kind of around here, around Christiana and just hopefully, uh, you know, shape, shape the light a little bit. And my computer's gonna take a few seconds to catch up here, but let's just see how, uh, how this looks. I did the wrong color. I did the wrong color, one second. Make sure you click this little uh, switching arrow thingy or you can click X to change colors, but make sure it's black because I just made that mistake. Awesome, let's see the before and after there. Cool, yeah, so it really just kind of added some extra extra drama here and brought focus to our model in the center of the photo. We can also blend this on soft light here. Let's try it out, see what it looks like. It's a little bit more subtle, so you can keep it on normal or you can go with soft light. It's really up to you here. And let me make this into a group so you can highlight your layers here and then click Command or Control G. Boom. Call it lighting. And then let's click the little eyeball to see the before and after of what we did. Before, after, and I think that's beautiful, man. That's exactly what we were going for. Okay, and that is it. Of course, there are other ways to add light in Photoshop. However, this is my favorite way. It's super quick, it's super easy, and uh, I, just, I just like doing it. It's really fun. I would say that you should do this with a photo where you're using, you know, natural light and it looks like it could be at golden hour because that's when it's going to look the most believable but you could also mess around and use the paintbrush for other things as well just adding kind of like bokeh or just having just adding colors to your photo just mess around have fun just have at it let me know if you found this video useful tag me on instagram if you end up using this technique i'd love to see your edit and with that being said i am miles at miles of color everywhere online and uh i'll see you next time bye